Hello Providence College hockey fans, I'm Nick Rojas. It was an exciting weekend for the Friars in what may be considered their best series of the season, sweeping the number 5 UMass Little River Hawks for the first time since 2005. The Friars won their games by 4 and 3 goals respectively, including a 4 goal second period explosion that had Schneider Arena rocking on their way to a 4-1 win. In today's episode, we take a look back at that weekend series, plus we look ahead at this Friday's Hockey East game against Boston College. Let's start the show. Friars kicked off the weekend against UMass Lowell and got on the board first when Nola Chari beat Riverhawks goaltender Kevin Boyle, who misplayed the puck in front of the net for the Friars' goal. Next in the second period, Jake Wallman winds up for the slap shot, faking out the defense as Trevor Mangoya got a quick look in front of the net as the Friars went up 2-0. They were far from over. Later in the second, Achari passing it through a few legs to Brandon Tenev who slipped behind the defense and sends it into the wide open net as the Friars go up three. Lowell would respond with a goal of their own, but Providence answered right back. Stephen McParland making a huge push towards the net and the puck squirts by for his third goal of the season. After intermission, the Friars would regain their three goal lead when Nick Saracino capitalized on the man advantage, having plenty of time corralling the puck from the slot and launching his seventh goal of the season. Ross Mowerman earned the assist on the power play goal. The Friars kept piling on the Riverhawks when Mingoya got his second goal of the night in the middle of the third as they took a 6-2 lead. After relinquishing a third goal, the Friars put the game away for good when Kevin Rooney fought his way through all three zones and a takedown for the empty netter. It was his third goal of the season as the Friars finished off a 7-3 road win. The next night, with a hungry Riverhawks team coming to Providence, the Friars were looking for a sweep. After a Lowell goal in the first, John Gillies would shut them out for the next two periods on his way to his 50th win in the Friars' net. Providence would have an outpouring of offense in the second period, with the first goal coming off the stick of Ross Mowerman to tie it up. That wouldn't last long, as a minute later, the other captain, Nolichari, would put the Friars up for good with his goal sending the loose puck in for the score. Later, the red-hot Providence power play would continue their dominance when Anthony Florentino slapped a laser on the one-timer from Mark Jankowski. The Friars finished things off with Jake Wallman's first collegiate goal on the pass from Ingoya as Providence was able to get the sweep over UMass Lowell for the first time since 2005. With the blizzard hitting Providence pretty heavily this week, we had to cut this week in Friars hockey a little short, but let's take a look at this upcoming matchup against Boston College. BC comes into the game in third place ahead of the Friars in hockey standings by two points, so a win Friday night would meet Providence would get even for that third place slot. In their meeting earlier this season, the Friars won by a score of 1-0 behind John Gillies 43 saves. Both teams come into the game playing some of their best hockey with the Friars 8-2 in their last 10 games, while the Eagles come in at 8-1-2 in their last 11. Trevor Mingoya and his Hockey East leading six power play goals will be going up against BC goalie Thatcher Demko, who has 2.08 goals against average and a 92-8 save percentage. The puck drops this Friday night at 7.30 p.m. up in Boston, Massachusetts. For more information, follow the team on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and of course at Friars.com for all your updates, pictures, and posts. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on This Week in Friars Hockey. From Shiner Arena, I'm Nick Rojas, Friars.com.